Today we're getting into the latest Tesla news, including Tesla laying off a huge part of their workforce, major Tesla executives leaving, the Cybertruck stop sale, and more. So let's get into it. And a special thanks to Keeps for sponsoring a portion of this video. First up today, Tesla has just released a new version of their app, and while it brings a lot of bug fixes under the surface, it features a pretty interesting new feature. In fact, you can use this feature right now even if you don't own a Tesla. In version 4.31.6, Tesla has enabled you to activate a demo version of the app. That means that you can get a chance to see everything that the app has to offer before you even purchase a Tesla. The Tesla apps is one of the many perks of owning these vehicles, and this demo version approximates the real experience pretty well. You can check out all of the various sections of the app and see first hand what you can do with it, such as climate controls, vehicle location, and the process of finding a nearby supercharger. A while ago, Tesla added a similar feature to the app that lets you demo the integration of a Tesla energy system into your home. A lot of customers will naturally want to research before making a big purchase like a Powerwall or a new car, so letting them get first-hand experience with the app is great for those customers. This way, they can fully see just how convenient the app is and its many great features. Getting to the demo mode isn't the most intuitive, however. First, you have to download the app and then choose to continue as a guest rather than logging in. Then you have to scroll down to where it says order vehicle and then scroll right to where it says Tesla app. If you already own a Tesla but still want to check it out, you can tap on the main menu, go to discover, and then follow the steps I just explained. If you're interested in seeing the Tesla Energy demo, then you can go to that discovery menu, scroll down to explore energy, and then swipe left to demo Powerwall. Currently, this demo only works with their newest vehicle, the updated Model 3, but it should give you a pretty general insight into how using this app works. This is a small feature that may not apply to you if you already own a Tesla, but it's still cool for those customers who want to see everything that owning a Tesla can offer before making a purchase. Next up today, Tesla has just laid off a huge portion of their workforce, and a few major executives have left as well. First, Tesla announced via a company-wide email that they are laying off, quote, more than 10% of their global workforce. This is something that has been rumored for a couple months, but now it's official, with Elon Musk's internal email saying, quote, over the years, we have grown rapidly with multiple factories scaling around the globe. With this rapid growth, there has been duplication of roles and job functions in certain areas. As we prepare the company for our next phase of growth, it is extremely important to look at every aspect of the company for cost reductions and increasing productivity. As part of this effort, we have done a thorough review of the organization and made the difficult decision to reduce our headcount by more than 10% globally. There's nothing I hate more, but it must be done. This will enable us to be lean, innovative, and hungry for the next growth phase cycle. I would like to thank everyone who is departing Tesla for their hard work over the years. I'm deeply grateful for your many contributions to our mission, and we wish you well in your future opportunities. It is very difficult to say goodbye. Then he goes on to talk to the people who are staying at the company. To put that 10% to a number, that should mean Tesla is immediately laying off at least 14,000 employees. That's a huge number and very suddenly. At the same time, it's unfortunately quite common to see massive layoffs like these at big tech companies. Rivian had to lay off 10% of their workforce earlier this year as well. With that said, it is something we hope Tesla can even out in the future. Yes, things ebb and flow, but seeing this happen in such large waves is a bit puzzling. As Electrek put it, Tesla, quote, needs to mature and have more established processes, less turnover and more security for its employees. On top of this, it appears to have completely blindsided many employees. Tesla has never been good with communication to customers, and it's clear they aren't great at it internally as well, even though they've been working on this for quite some time. One employee who was laid off posted on X saying they sent out emails at 1.42 a.m. MST. Didn't see it until after I got to work and found out all of my apps and credentials were locked. In general as well, it seems that it blindsided most employees who were let go. I can't pretend to know how to better handle things at these levels, but it is unfortunate to see passionate employees working hard at Tesla only to be let go instantly, even if this is objectively what Tesla needs for the future. Of course, those layoffs come after Tesla's Q1 deliveries were announced, which missed estimates by a lot. They have been clear that they are in between growth waves, and now we're seeing it truly play out. Deliveries were lower last quarter, Giga Shanghai production has slowed some, and now the layoffs are coming in at the same time. Tesla is scaling down and probably zoning completely in on getting their robo-taxi or $25,000 EV out the door. Then I imagine we'll see them scale back up quite a bit. With that said, things are changing more than just a reduction of workforce. Tesla's senior VP of Power 
powertrain and energy posted on X saying, I made the difficult decision to move on from Tesla after 18 years yesterday. I'm so thankful to have worked with and learned from the countless incredibly talented people at Tesla over the years. I loved tackling nearly every problem we solved as a team and feel gratified to have contributed to the mission of accelerating the transition to sustainable energy, a mission that I am quite passionate about. I will always have a warm spot for the people of Tesla and Tesla products in my heart and wish the team and company the best in the future. When I joined as a junior firmware slash electrical engineer back in 2006, a future Tesla that produced the world's top selling vehicle was well beyond my expected set of outcomes. A reminder to all of us to set higher expectations, I guess. To that he added, looking forward, I have no concrete plans beyond spending more time with my family and young kids. But as people who know me well can attest, I have difficulty sitting still for long. So he's not being poached by another company, he's simply leaving as Tesla is changing things up rapidly. Elon responded here saying, thanks for everything you've done for Tesla, few have contributed as much as you. At the same time, Tesla's head of policy and business development, Rohan Patel said, quote, the past eight years at Tesla have been filled with every emotion, but the feeling I have today is utmost gratitude. He goes on to thank Tesla customers and fans, Elon Musk, the Tesla team, his business development team, his parents, and more. He is leaving the company, and as for his plans, he seems to be taking a lot more time off. Quote, my plans are to be a recess monitor for my second grade daughter, practice my violin, go to a bunch of bucket list sporting events, and take my very patient wife on some long intended travel, excited for the future. Elon responded as well saying, thanks for everything you've done for Tesla, much appreciated. In various articles as well, the reasoning behind Patel leaving is being cited as big overall changes at the company. Lately, Rohan has been one of the main people actually talking about Tesla on X and explaining certain situations, so it is unfortunate to see him go along with Jubik Lino, who has been huge for Tesla's battery side of things. Next up today, Keeps is an online subscription service that makes it easy and more affordable for men to get professional care for hair loss and male pattern baldness from the comfort of their home. For me, I had to eventually embrace the fact that my hair was gone, but you don't have to. This is the product I wish I had known about when I first noticed signs of hair loss. You just complete an online consultation to get matched with a licensed medical provider who will tailor a treatment plan if medically appropriate. Treatment is delivered discreetly to your door with the flexibility of three, six, and 12 month delivery options that you can adjust, pause, or cancel at any time. Keeps offers treatments that are clinically proven to work and are 90% effective at treating hair loss. According to clinical studies, these treatments can increase hair growth by up to 35%. Most customers notice results within six months of starting treatment. Keeps also offers hair thickening shampoo, conditioner, and styling pomade. Over 1 million men have saved their hair with Keeps, and over 5,000 have rated it five stars. Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of what you have, Keeps has a trusted line of products to help you along the way. A big thanks to Keeps for sponsoring this video. Hair loss stops with Keeps. For a special offer to get started, go to keeps.com slash Ryan Shaw, or click the link in the description below. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Ryan Shaw. It'll be interesting to see if we ever find out a specific reason why these people are departing or not. It simply could be the right timing, or maybe they fundamentally disagree with the changes taking place. At the same time, it is well known that Elon Musk expects a ton out of all of his employees, and these executives have reached a good stopping point as things are changing. Executives also change over at large companies, even though it may look scary at first glance. It's probably great for them personally, and it'll be interesting to see where things go from here. Elon Musk further posted some context saying, about every five years, we need to reorganize and streamline the company for the next phase of growth. In the immediate future, things are changing quite a bit at Tesla, and I'll be sure to keep you posted on how everything is going. Right now, they're still selling the Model 3 and Y, should be releasing the ludicrous Model 3 soon, the Model Y refresh should be coming early next year, Cybertruck is scaling up, and FSD is developing. The big thing to watch out for, in my opinion, is whatever the next vehicle will be, whether that's a robo-taxi or a drivable $25,000 vehicle. Next up today, Cybertruck production keeps pumping, but it may be stacking up in part because of a stop sale. Cybertruck delivery appointments were delayed this week and most customers were simply told about an unexpected delay. However, it seems to be directly related to the accelerator pedal on the truck. With the Cybertruck's floor mounted accelerator pedal, the pedal cover has reportedly been coming loose under excessive force. Quote, this malfunction has been attributed to the presence of lubricant residues left over from the manufacturing process. 
This video demonstrates what the rumored problem is. With the pedal cover on or off completely, it's not much of a problem, but if this comes loose while driving, it can wedge into the floorboard, keeping the accelerator pressed down. The owner in this video noted that braking overrides this, but obviously if this is an issue, that's a big safety problem, and thus why we could be seeing an immediate and temporary stop sale for the Cybertruck. We've been hearing a lot about different Cybertruck issues and Cybertrucks rusting and all of that stuff that doesn't actually seem to be true when we look at the evidence of Cybertruck owners. But if the rumors are true here, this would be a real issue that definitely needs fixing. Hopefully this gets resolved soon and Tesla is able to resume deliveries of this crazy truck. If the issue in this video is correct, we could definitely see a physical recall of this truck for all owners so far to get that pedal fixed at service as well. It's not only going to be affecting future deliveries, but all trucks delivered so far. Next up today, Tesla produces some of the most popular vehicles around, with their Model Y SUV being the best selling in the world for a while now. While that high demand has definitely led to increased sales for Teslas, many prospective buyers are looking for alternative ways of purchasing this vehicle. As such, Teslas are also some of the most popular used cars in the world. A newly published study has shown that all four vehicles in Tesla's main lineup, the S3, X, and Y, are in the top 50 best selling used cars globally in 2023. The Model 3 is in sixth place at 412,000 units sold, led by five other gas-powered vehicles like the Jeep Wrangler, Toyota Tacoma, and Honda Civic. Then Tesla doesn't make another appearance until 21st place, with the Model Y having sold 173,400 units. It's interesting to see that despite the Model Y beating the Model 3 in new sales, it's a different story when it comes to used vehicles. The Model 3 is a cheaper vehicle overall, and it's also been out for a few years longer than the Model Y, so it does make some sense that people looking for a used car might look towards the cheaper options first. After those two, the Model S and X also appear in 26th and 33rd places respectively. What's especially interesting is what vehicle appears as the only other EV option on the list. In 37th place, selling 125,800 units is the Nissan Leaf. The Leaf line has been around for a very long time, so it makes sense that customers could get one for very cheap. But it's very curious that it beat out other EV options. The Chevy Bolt was the third most popular used EV in the US in 2020 but clearly that car is less popular or perhaps unavailable in other markets. As Tesla matures in the marketplace and more people begin to get rid of their early generation Model 3s and Ys, then I suspect we will see these used sales climb even higher. When you factor in the availability of used EV tax credits, buying a secondhand EV could be an extremely affordable way to electrify your transportation. Next up today, beyond just electric vehicles, Tesla is working on a ton of technologies meant to improve sustainability and energy efficiency. One of those products is the Powerwall, a home energy storage solution that enables homeowners to store their renewably generated energy and use it during blackouts or during peak hours. Tesla unveiled their third generation Powerwall last year and installations have begun as of a few months ago. This new model offers higher power outputs, more energy storage, and a built-in solar inverter. This allows owners to store the same amount of energy in one pack that would have previously required multiple, but some people's energy usage and needs may still exceed that. In a webinar meant for installers, Tesla revealed some information that may help these people do that more affordably. The company is working on offering a Powerwall 3 add-on called the DC Expansion that strips out that solar inverter so a customer can install multiple together at a cheap price. These DC expansions will be listed for $1,000 cheaper than the fully featured Powerwall 3, which costs $9,300 before incentives. These expansions will allow you to more flexibly customize your Powerwall setup to better fit your energy usage needs. Products like these aren't as flashy as electric cars or robots, but it is undeniably an important step on the journey to full electrification. More affordable energy storage solutions are good for everybody, and on the consumer side, this means that you will be able to store more cheap energy to sell back to the grid during peak hours. If you generate your own solar electricity, then investing in a new Powerwall setup could be a hugely advantageous move. Another thing to note here is that it has been confirmed that the new Powerwall uses LFP type battery cells. Last up today, some updates from other automakers. In spite of some difficulties the company has faced in the last year, Rivian has made some pretty big turnarounds as of late. In Q1 of this year, the company outproduced and outdelivered estimates for the quarter by a good margin. Estimates held that Rivian would deliver 11,900 units in Q1, and they were able to deliver 13,588 cars. In light of that news, Rivian announced that they would be maintaining their 57,000 unit production goal for all of 2024. In addition, the company's CEO, RJ Scaringe, announced that the company's 100,000th 
vehicle just rolled off the assembly line a few days ago. All of their vehicles are currently produced out of their factory in Normal, Illinois, where production is expected to expand in the coming months and years. That factory has seen a lot of efficiency improvements as of late, and in fact, they've just temporarily shut it down to implement even more upgrades. For the month of April, Rivian is offering a pretty great incentive for any new orders placed. If you order an R1T or R1S, Rivian will install a free stealth vehicle wrap made by Expel. This self-healing film works to protect your car from any scratches and chips that would otherwise damage your underlying paint job. In addition to protection, the wrap will also give your car a nice satin finish that will do a lot to hide dirt and water spots. This offer is valued at around $5,000, so it's a pretty good deal if you were looking to buy one of these vehicles. This incentive is currently available for both US and Canadian buyers throughout the month of April. The company is also beginning the rollout of Tesla supercharger access to their fleet of vehicles across the nation. Drivers have applauded the integration into the supercharger network, and most customers report a great experience so far. Current Rivian owners have to use an adapter to plug into these stations, but their upcoming R2 and R3 vehicles will have built-in NACS plugs. Rivian makes great vehicles, and after some gloomy reports on their financial well-being, it's great to see them starting to recover. They still have a ways to go until their next-gen vehicles are more affordable and released, so hopefully they can keep up this great pace. That's all the latest Tesla news for today, so in the meantime, if you want to see my full review of the 2024 Model 3 after two months, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.